Smith and the art of our time plays a crucial role in contemporary society, providing the means to share ideas, experiences, and diverse cultures with all. Hey boss, check this out. The internet says that contemporary art can be defined as various pieces of artwork dated from this present time and era spanning all the way back to World War II. Hey, don't hang that there. Did you hear what I said? I told you to keep your lips shut. Yes, listen, modern art, it's gotta include all those artistic works that were created during a period spanning roughly from the 1860s all the way through the 1970s. And it denotes a style and a philosophy that everything that was created before that time was simply old hat. Hey, what about Pablo Picasso? Yeah. He died in 1973. I was born in 1948. Obviously, our lives and times would intersect. Therefore, he's a part of my contemporary mindset. Hey, listen to this. Art is the product or process of deliberately rearranging items, often with a symbolic significance, in a way that affects and influences one or more of the senses, emotions, intellect. I feel it's safe to say that the boss's senses, emotions, and intellect intersect the two. However, the elements of our modern world don't actually appear in modern art. Yeah, but what about performance art? Performance art stimulates the senses, the emotions, the intellect. Huh? We would definitely have a say in this discussion. I'm going to ask you people nicely to get your guns and your cell phones and please get them out of my sight. So what you're saying, gentlemen, is that modern and contemporary art both explore a world more aware of itself? I mean, come on. The modernists came in and they destructed all molds of tradition and the contemporary artists. Well, they continue to expand and illuminate a limitless amount of themes and free ideas. I just got that from the internet. You're welcome.